Ay, wala pala akong background. Dapat pala may background yeah. ako. I-inform pala kasi ako nila, sir, ano may background dapat. Ayan na. Alright. Alright. Hello, IFNG. And hello, Elite. Hello, Elite Center. Hello. Hello. Hi, Mr. Ma. Hi, Sir Manuel. Good evening. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, everybody who's watching right now. We have 45 participants on Zoom. And how many in our live stream? Please, we have, uh, Yeah, we have, I think, 10. Yeah, 10. Oh. And it's rising up. All right. Um, today's topic is about reading. I think one of the most boring parts of the IELTS subjects. Yes. yes. That's the reading. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Let us just check those who are not muted. Okay, so Mr. Manuel, how's your day so far before you go to the discussion today? I have been quite exhausted as of wow. the moment because I had to deliver a lecture in the morning and 3 a.m. But I'm feeling wonderful now that I've seen your lovely face, madam. <laughs> Okay, guys, let me just share this one. Thank you so much, Sir uh, Mr. Manuel. Okay, let me just um, share this one to the page of Elite Intellect 9. There we go. Okay, and also I'll be sharing to the other pages because, guys, tonight no, we will be discussing about an important topic. Okay, the reading okay, of the IELTS examination. Unfortunately, not a lot of students master this concept. No, Have you... Uh, Okay, if you have already experienced this, you can say, I did, okay? You took your IELTS examination, and then what happened was you got a 7.5 in speaking, you got an, an 8.0 in writing, and then when it comes to your listening and reading, you got a 5.5 or a 6.0, diba? Yes, unfortunately, guys, I have seen a lot of students like that before, okay? <clears throat> they tend not to focus when it comes to their reading examination because they thought that it's just, meh. Just the reading examination. Although tonight, I will make you realize that it's the other way around, okay? Also, your, your, your visa processing for the United States of America would be highly dependent on the reading examination. And of course, Mama will be teaching you a lot of different types of techniques for the reading tonight, okay? Hold on, let me just share this one. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. Now, while I'm sharing this to the groups, guys, do we have, uh, how, if you're going to be describing your day so far, how would you describe it? Okay, come on. I want to, I want to see how your day went. Okay. Mama wants to see how your day went today. Okay. All righty. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Now I'm posting, posting. Okay, motivated from grace, very good. From joy, we have magnificent. Okay, for Katrina, insightful. Wow, I do love insightful days. You know, uh, insightful days are very full of insight. Hello. <laughs> Sabi ko sa inyo, kahit reading discussion natin, puro kalokohan pa rin ang inay na yun tonight. Okay, guys? <clears throat> One thing that I would want you to remember here on our discussion will be, it's not going to, I will try not to make it as boring, okay, as much as possible because, you know, the students, when we are talking about the reading examination, they tend to be a little bit scared, okay, or afraid or bored with the reading exam. But after this discussion, believe me, you are going to be enjoying the reading, okay? Nag-expect po ako. Nag-expect po siya. <laughs> okay, guys. So, yeah. Let's talk about the reading examination. Let me just share my PowerPoint to you guys for tonight. Okay, hold on. Uh, not this one. Okay, hold on, guys. Let me just share, Okay. <clears throat> Uh, my PowerPoint is not sharing. He why? Okay, there we go. Okay, so hold on. Let's just check our microphones if somebody is unmuted, no? So as to ensure that you guys uh, can focus on our discussion. Okay, here we go. All righty. So, 
All right. <laughs> Actually, lahat ng elite babies tak expect. <laughs> Okay, so welcome to another fun and free lecture about knowing the secrets with passing the IELTS reading. Okay, brought to you by IELTS Filipino Nurses Group and of course Elite Intellect. Okay, so every time that we talk about reading, I don't understand why a lot of students are not interested with the reading concept. Okay, you should be interested with the reading concept in as much as the reading is a part of your grading criteria. I'm going to tell you a trade secret right now on the industry, okay? Would you believe me if I tell you that the reading has be uh, became one of the most difficult subtests on the IELTS recently? Again, would you believe me <clears throat> if I tell you that the reading examination has been one of the most difficult subtests of the IELTS recently? Yes, right. Yes, indeed, from Bay, from Louisa, there we go. Yeah, yes, guys, it has become one of the most difficult subtests on the IELTS recently. And of course, a lot of people, unfortunately, are not focusing attention on the reading examination. No, What happens if eh, it's just the reading, it's not an important part of my preparation on the IELTS. I'm not going to be focusing because the only thing that I have to do is read, to find details, to find keywords. No, guys, okay? Extirpate, uh, extirpate destroy that ideation in your mind because I will assure you that the reading examination is not as simple as that. Okay, sir, are you telling me that it's quite difficult to pass the reading examination? Well, in 100%, maybe a little, uh, a little over 70%. But the good news about that one is it's doable. So for the entire month, Elite Intellect will be assisting you when it comes to your reading examination here at IFNG. Okay, all righty. So let's check your messages, sir. Sir, may nag-iilocano dyan. Sino? Tagal Ilocano, ante. <laughs> Hello to my fellow Ilocanos out there. Na imbang rabi ka na kayo, ante. Ang kalmanong manang. Yun niya si Dayo. Ring. Okay. <clears throat> When it comes to the reading, I am perturbed. Sabi ni Luisa. I got a 7.0 in all the other subtests except for reading. I got a 6.0. See? That's what we're trying to avoid, okay? That is what we're trying to avoid, guys. If it's your first time to join us here at our live discussions at IFNG, again, Elite Intellect will be helping you with reading all throughout. I will be teaching you about the concept of reading. I will be teaching you about the things that you should be doing on your reading examination. And of course, I will be teaching you about the different types of techniques for you to make the reading doable, okay? Not easy, okay? Uh, Marifi said, true, but reading really makes me sweat. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. <clears throat> From Faith Lozada on Facebook, hate the passages to read. Okay, there you go. Yes, I believe because uh, off out of the world top. Yeah. The reading actually is out of this world, right? It 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 encourages you guys to uh, it encourages you guys to read passages, okay, and to find information. But later on, when I teach you about some of the basic techniques, believe me, okay, you won't even break a sweat when it comes to the reading exam. If I am proud about one thing with the elite intellect students is that they some of them, okay, or most of them now already know how to do the reading properly okay we call that the 20% rule and then later on i will be teaching you the 20% rule okay and of course mind mapping we will be learning about mind mapping on the reading today okay struggling with reading because i have short attention span me too <laughs> Have you encountered that? Right when you were when you were on the read when you were reading something on the IELTS and then you're looking at the passages and then your mind Your mind tends to go somewhere north, right? Your mind is already thinking, huh, what should I eat today? Diba? Pamain ng bag. Yung muna pansinin yung bag dun sa likod. Hayaan nyo muna siya dyan. <laughs> okay, guys. All right. So, if it's your first time to join us here at IFNG, hello. I am pleased to meet you. My name is Clint Joseph Tyler, the founder and master lecturer of Elite Intellect IELTS OET and Clex and NMC CBT Specialist PH. I am an IELTS expert for the past 11 years and I have a degree in English methodology and theory plus a doctorate degree in English language and literature. I am a PH and a U.S. registered nurse and also known as your mama dragon, mother dragon, mama D, mother D, mommy D. Oh, 
ka, kwentong ina, turong ina, matuto ka, ina ka. <laughs> Hashtag for tonight on Facebook. For those of you watching on Facebook, could we please type, please, 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 please do type hashtag Mama D cares. That is our official hashtag for tonight on our Facebook Live. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, Jerlyn. Anak, I miss you. When it's time for reading, nagiging ADHD, di ba? Kayo na ko pa iniintay, di ba? Iniintay niyo yung hashtag Mama D cares. Okay, guys. Never a dull moment with you, mother. <laughs> I am half Filipino, half Tokwa. Diba? So I am Pikwa. Charing! <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's boost the energy. I know some of you are already tired. Some of you are already longing to go to their families. Diba? At least I make you happy wherever you are all over the world. No, yun ang ayokong mangyayari. Like when you're watching, you're like, Kaganyan lang kayo because uh, I can talk about the reading concept, believe me, for 10 minutes. Okay, I can teach you about the reading for 10 minutes, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, I want you guys to feel the love. I want you guys to feel happy because at the end of the day, most of the people who are watching are 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 overseas workers, right? They're nurses in another country. They're working in another country. And of course, guys, it's difficult to be happy if you are there alone. So remember that mama is here for you, okay? I got you back, girl. Okay. <laughs> You'll be here from Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Hello, Ronik, my love. Welcome. Okay. From Lian. Oh, is this Lian? Lian Hernandez. Yes, I think I saw Lian. Hi, Sir Joseph. Ha, 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 miss you. Hashtag Baba D. Care. So, miss you too, Lian. Okay, guys. No? So, guys, know and remember that Mama will always try to make you laugh. Diba? Alam mo, I've been called a clown. Okay? I've been called a clown many times before. So, ko, you can call me a clown all... As much as you want, basta ang gusto ko lang kapag ka nanonood kayo, you're not bored, you're happy, and you're learning when it comes to your uh, subjects here. Hi, Sir Joseph. Hello, Joanna Rosenail. Almeria, my love. Okay, guys, so let's start. Before we begin, let's talk about a message of love first, okay? I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be good. Be of good courage, and He shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. This is from Psalms 27, verse 13 to 14. Okay, sir, what does this mean? Okay, <clears throat> when you are losing heart, you have to wait on the Lord, always. I have seen a lot of people, my students even message me and tell me, sir, you know what? I'm already losing my courage, my passion, with the, with, with my, and my compassion with the thing that I do. I am already really tired of preparing for the IELTS examination. I am growing impatient because I have taken this examination not once, not twice, not three times, not four times, not five times, seven times, Sir Joseph. And I always tell them, do not lose heart, okay? Do not lose heart. You always have to wait on the Lord because at the end of the day it will be worth it my love worth it okay in Jesus name soon your IELTS preparation and your IELTS suffering will be over because everyone who's watching this and will, everyone who will see this in Jesus name I prophesy that you guys will be getting good scores on your IELTS preparation and or your IELTS examination okay so amen amen to that alrighty so let's antaray nung ano no antaray nung kulay Parang airline company lang dito sa Pilipinas, di ba? Anong airline company ang kulay na yan? <laughs> Ay, wak ko ba? Gumagawa ako ng slides. I was doing my slides earlier. I was like, mm, I want something colorful. I want something to boost the mood of the people. Yes, di ba? <clears throat> Welcome. We are now about to serve lunch shortly. Para po sa mga nasa business class, you're ang... <laughs> Ang mga kubiertos po nilo, ninyo ay bibigay ng ating mga flight attendant. Para po sa mga na, para po sa mga nasa economy, hindi po 'yan souvenir. <laughs> we apologize for the delay, but we are going to be encountering an emergency landing. For those of you on the business class, your flotation devices could be seen under your seat. For those of you on the economy class, for those of you on the economy class, right? Please repeat after me. Di batas tagdasal. 
Your hairline, sir. From J- Why? What happened to my hairline? Is it escalating? Hello to our 75 members at Zoom and 125 watchers on Facebook. Okay, hello, Morgan Paris, my love. All righty, so... Let's now start with your discussion. Okay, so we're going to be using Elite Notes again tonight, di ba? Hindi, ano, yung hindi souvenir yung utensils, di ba? Ay, huwag niyo akong lukohin. Aminin niyo, aminin niyo, meron kayong chinelas ng airlines, di ba? Kung hindi man chinelas ng airlines, kumot ng airlines, yung kulay navy, navy blue pa, yung naitabi niyo. At ang pinakamatinding encounter na nakita ko dito is ang kinuha yung touch screen ng airlines. <laughs> diba? <laughs> Ay, naku, Diyos ko. Alright. Bakit parang tinamaan ako? Ako din gawain ko yung dati mga anak. Huwag kayong mag-alala. Ang manguha ng mga gamit ng airlines. Oo. Sayang eh. Binayaran natin yun. Diba? <laughs> okay, guys. So, let's start with your discussion for today. Okay. So, um, if you would want to have a copy of our handout tonight, okay, if you are a group chat member of IFNG, okay, if you already are a member of IFNG's group chat, you will be getting <clears throat> you will be getting a copy of our handout tonight, okay? But if you're not yet a member of the group chat of IFNG, you may actually message the, um, what do you call this? You may message the admins later on so that you will be added to the group chat of IFNG either on Facebook or on WhatsApp for you guys to get a copy of our uh, Elite Notes for tonight. So what is Elite Notes? This is the fun noting system that we use at Elite Intellect for us to teach our students. Okay, so let's begin. Wait, tignan ko lang yung comment ko. Parang ang sayo ng chika. You're always full of energy, mama. Love that. Thank you so much, says my love. Kumot ng <laughs> Emirates at Saudi. <laughs> Spoon and fork, meron na cake. Cute eh, di ba? <clears throat> Napaka-jolly mo, sir. Kaya gusto-gusto ko makinig sa'yo. Natuto ka na, masaya ka pa. Uy, thank you naman, anak. Pengi namang entrance dyan, no? Kahit tig-50 lang. Charing! <laughs> okay. Tama, yung iba headphone, di ba? Nakikita sa scanner, di ba? Sobra naman yung touchscreen, di ba? Ninakaw yung touchscreen ng eroplano. Maluka ka yung ano, yung pakpak ng eroplano ang naiuwi mo. Bakit? Gagawin kong pan-display sa bahay. <laughs> okay guys, so let's begin with the IELTS reading. Okay, now we're going to be setting expectations a lot tonight, okay? Because some of the students, they don't know what to expect when it comes to the reading examination, okay? So I will be... Um, I will be teaching you a lot when it comes to the things that you must expect with the reading first and, of course, the question types for tonight as well as, of course, mind mapping, okay? Mind mapping is one of the most important things that you must learn on the reading of the examination. Sir, paano po yung mind mapping? mag ed kaluwag ka. Di ba? <laughs> <laughs> Hindi ako nagpunta rito para makapag-awi sa inyo. Hi, Ed, if you're watching this, I miss you. Ala, close kami ni Ed Kaluwag. Oo, oh, ba? Oh. Ed, Ed Kaluwag, baka naman o, oh, pag nakita mo ko. Ay, ay, crush na crush ko yan si Ed talaga. Gusto ko siya makita in person. Okay, <clears throat> so let's begin with your discussion for tonight, okay? This is the part one of the series of the reading discussions of Elite Intellect with IFNG. Let's talk about the reading exam, okay? <clears throat> Guys, just to set the expectations when it comes to the reading exam, okay? It is not, I repeat, it is not the easiest subtest on the IELTS, okay? One thing that I would want you to remember, guys, is it is not the easiest subtest on the IELTS examination, okay? It is not the easiest subtest on the <clears throat> IELTS examination. Please remove that ideation, okay? Some students, they tend to say, oh, it's just the reading exam. I will be fine. It's okay. It's actually quite easy. I don't need to focus much of attention here. No, guys, believe me. Did you know that according to the recent polls, okay, according to the recent polls that we have seen recently, um, 40 to 50%, okay, of test takers, okay, fail because of the reading. Yes, this is true, no? 40 to 50% of test takers fail because of the reading, no? Kasi nga, we have this ideation that has been inculcated onto us since time immemorial that we don't have to focus much attention on the reading because it is not that difficult. 
But did you know that according to the recent surveys and polls, guys, 40 to 50 percent of test takers fail the reading? Okay, uh, you don't think that's a big thing? Okay, I'll give you a, I'll give you a scenario. Okay, let's say there are you took your examination. Okay, and there are 120 people taking that exam that day. Most likely, 60 out of 120 of those people might fail the reading examination. Yeah. So still think that it's not a big deal, Eva? Yeah, better make sure that you're not a part of that 50%. That is why we are here to guide you when it comes to the reading examination. Okay, so one important thing that I would want you to remember on the reading exam, guys, is to understand only 20% of the paragraphs. Okay, understand only 20% of the paragraphs. When we say 20% of the passages, ang sinasabi natin dito, guys, is you do not have to waste as much time and effort trying to read everything. Who here is guilty? Okay? Tell me if you're guilty of doing this on the exam. You're reading everything. You are reading everything. Like from the first sentence to the last sentence of the entire passage, you're reading it. Who here loves doing that? Come on. I want to see. There we go. Jazz. Okay. Present. Ronit. Joy. Okay. Anna. Kudo. Guilty. My gosh. JLT. Present. Marifi. Who else on Facebook? <clears throat> Rigel. There we go. Look at that, guys. <laughs> If you love doing that, then you're actually digging your own grave on the reading examination, okay? Here is one thing to remember when it comes to this one, okay? Do not read everything. Okay. Some of the students, guys, they failed the reading examination because they ran out of time, okay? They ran out of time. Or they were not able to find things and they started to panic on the examination. Guys, believe me, if you are reading everything, it's humanly impossible for us to finish that within 60 minutes, especially on examinations, which are four passages. On the reading exam, guys, hindi three passages lang. Kung minsan four passages yan. No? Worst that I have encountered for the academic test is the students read five passages and the passages are 700 words per passage so if you're reading everything let's say you're going to spend let's say you're going to spend 15 minutes per passage 15 times 5 that's more than 60 minutes right 15 times 5 15 15 30 60 that is 75 minutes okay so when you're reading everything guys you are not reading smart believe me do not read everything on the examination. You must remember that the reading would only require you to, okay, you are only required to, take note of this word, scan words, okay? When I say scan words, you're just going to hunt down the synonyms of the keyword. You don't have to read everything. Believe me. Wala namang rivalida sa IELTS, di ba? Ano to? Some students kasi, they tend, to read it really, they tend to read it religiously in a way that they think the examiner is going to be asking them a question about their reading on the speaking exam. No, they're not going to. Di ba? Kung ganun ang IELTS, yes, you may read it. <laughs> Pero kung hindi, then you don't need to read it. Basically, this is just, okay, take note of this one, guys. This is just a synonym hunting activity. Okay, it is a synonym hunting activity. When I say it is a synonym hunting activity, basically the only thing that you have to do is to look at your questions and then encircle words which are unique and then find that in the passages by scanning through the ideas. The leisure reading, guys, is different. 
Okay? Leisure reading and the IELTS reading is actually quite different. Okay? They, they have a colossal disparity. Wow! Colossal disparity. Ano ibig sabihin nun, sir? Hindi ko alam. Sinabi ko lang. <laughs> they have a huge difference, guys. Okay? When you are leisure reading... Basically, you would want to understand everything because you're all taking it in. You're analyzing it. Like the thing that you're doing when you're reading a novel, when you're reading an article, you're all taking it in. You're trying to understand it. Whereas on the examination, guys, you are not even expected to understand everything that the passage is saying. So why read everything? Why? Why? <laughs> why, girl? Why would you need to read everything? You're wasting time, okay? So this is just a synonym hunting activity. So the first thing that you must do for you to pass the reading exam is to not read the passages at all, okay? You just have to understand 20% of the passages and hunt down for the synonyms of your keywords right there, okay? Later on, I will teach you mind mapping, with which you're going to learn on how to make things easier when it comes to your reading. So you better stick to the end of the program because that is the most important discussion of all for tonight. Mind mapping. How can I find this? How can I find the word? What word should I encircle? When I'm reading the passage, how can I find it? There you go. Mama, ituturo ko sa inyo yan. Okay? All right. <clears throat> so, and it's just a synonym hunting activity. So, one thing that you would also need to remember is... It is enough to just scan the ideas, okay? You just have to scan the ideas. Basically, you're not scanning the ideas. What you're doing here is you're hunting down for the synonym. Okay, next one, guys. Okay, another thing that I would want you to remember on the reading examination is be... A bookworm. Okay, sir. What do you mean by being a bookworm? Okay. What are bookworms, right? Bookworms are... Oh, yes. By the way, guys, please do tag your friends. Your friends whom you think are having difficulties when it comes to their IELTS preparation. Okay, you may tag them here on our live at IFNG on Facebook. Thank you so much. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, I Wait, guys. I'm going to get my Water, please. Hello, water. Water with straw. Oh, na natutuyo yung lalamunan ko. Ewan ko, buntis yata ako. Huh? Sir Joseph, buntis ka sa lalamunan. <laughs> okay. So guys, one thing that I would want you to remember is for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nagmukbang. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, yes po, Mama D. Ano ba dapat ang iyahan ko? Just the, just the synonyms. Believe me, my love. Okay. So, be a bookworm. Okay, sir, what do you mean by this one? Okay. As I always tell my students on the examination, you would need to improve on your reading rate. <clears throat> okay. When you say reading rate, what we mean by this one, guys, okay? When you say reading rate, what we mean by this one is the way that you look at the letters and the way that you look at the words, not the letters, by the way, and the phrases and how fast can you recognize them, okay? And unfortunately, if you are one of those people with which the last time you read the book, was, it was when you were in college and it was anatomy and physiology, fundamentals of nursing and um, pharmacology, then most likely you will be having a hard time or a difficult time when it comes to your reading. Sino dito ang katulad ko? Okay, before, when I was preparing for the IELTS, that was way back in 2009, okay? When I was preparing for the IELTS, the last book that I have read is called Anatomy and Physiology. That's basically it, okay? Or surgical, Medical and Surgical Nursing. That's basically it. And then I never once read a book after that. Okay, Guys, if you're doing that, then you have rested, okay? You have rested your reading rate. And if once you get exposed to the reading of the IELTS, it will become a culture shock to you. We are not used to reading passages, right? Who here? Sino dito ang addict? 
No? Sino dito ang adik na pag nagising ng umaga, naghahanap ng passages online para basahin dahil trip lang niya? Meron bang ganon? For our non-Filipino speakers, I am so sorry, let me interpret that. Who drugs over here uh, when they awake morning read? <laughs> Who among you guys? Okay, Who among you? The moment that you wake up in the morning, you try to find passages and then you read it. Be honest. Who? Okay? Who? No one. <laughs> I mean, reading for us humans, it's not a pleasure. Okay, so Ellen loves reading. That's good. Diba? Reading for us humans is not, it's not a pleasure. Okay? More of it's a punishment. It's an eye strain. Okay, what else? It's a conundrum or sometimes it can give you headaches. Cluster headaches to be exact, di ba? Nagahanap ng quotes para magpatama sa post. <laughs> di ba? Hindi yung ganon, not that. Like long articles, like 1,200 word passages. Like you try to find it about science, facts. Nobody does that anymore because a lot of people tend to go to YouTube if they are interested with finding facts because they're going to be watching a video rather than reading it. So it made it more difficult for us Okay, to do the reading on the examination. So you would need to improve your reading rate. Sir, what is a recommended reading rate on the exam? Okay, the most recommended reading rate for the examination is 200 to 400 words per minute. Yes, okay, 200 to 400 words per minute po ito. No, the moment that you look at that, You are already good when it comes to your chunking and your clustering. Okay, want to do an exercise with me? Okay, want to do an exercise? Okay, everybody don't look at your screen. Okay, don't look at your screen. No cheating, okay? <clears throat> no cheating. Don't look at your screen. Look at your left. Don't look at your screen. Come on. Okay. All right. Please don't look at your screen. Okay? Don't look at your screen. Whatever happens, do not look at your screen because I am naked. Chari. All right. Don't look at your screen. Look to your left. Look at your right. Don't look at your screen. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Later on, I'll tell you to look at your screen. Now, at the count of three, I want you to look at your screen. One, two, three. Go. Okay. All right. Everybody looked at the screen now. Okay. Tell me who among you was able to see up to here? Who among you was able to read everything with just one glance? Okay. One glance. The moment that you stared at the screen, you saw up to here. Who? Okay, very good. Okay, Anna Kudo. There we go. Kidding aside, I'm more fond of listening to podcasts lately than reading. Okay, Kat. Very good. Okay, who else on Facebook? Who among you was able to read up to here? Okay. If you were able to read that with just one stare, okay, with just one glance, it means that your reading rate is actually fitting for the exam. Okay, you have an advanced reading rate. At one stare, you were able to read everything and of course you were able to understand that. However, who among you, be honest or be honest with yourselves, who among you was able to read up to here? <clears throat> reading is difficult. Who? Okay, good job. All right. If you were able to read up to here only, up to the word difficult, then of course, you must improve your reading rate a little bit because your rate is three words in recognition. When we say three words in recognition, the moment that you, sta you stare at a, at, a, at a sentence, you only see three words and you are able to recognize and process only three words, okay? So we would need to improve on that, okay? You would need to improve your reading rate. Now, for those of you who... The moment that you look at this one, you were only able to read this one right here. Reading. Be honest at first glance, okay? Be honest. At first glance, you are only able to recognize reading. That means that your reading rate and your recognition rate is actually 
quite slow. Okay? It is actually quite slow. And there's nothing to be ashamed of. It's totally perfect. Okay? It's totally okay. You can improve on that. Okay? So yeah, you would need to chunk ideas. The moment that you stare, okay? The moment, guys, na tignan nyo yung, yung passages, kailangan nabasa nyo na lahat yon. No? And you were able to understand that. Okay? And sir, paano po kung pagtingin ko, ang nakita ko lang po kayo, hindi ko po napansin na meron po palang nakalagay dito. Ang una ko tinignan yung video mo, sir. Paano, paano po yun? Anak, kailangan mo ng masinsinang dasal at pag-aayuno. Charing. <laughs> okay, guys. So, let's continue with our discussion. All right. So, be a bookworm. In a way that I don't want you guys to be what do you call this, to be people who are very much inclined with reading books every single day. What I would want you to improve, improve by being a bookworm, guys, is for you to improve on your reading rate, okay? When we say reading rate, the things, that the, the way that you look at the letters and the words together and the way that you recognize it, okay? So how can I do this? Okay, so you can read one article per day. Okay, read one article <clears throat> daily. Uh, um, Sir Joseph, how long should be the articles? I always tell my students at Elite Intellect this one. Okay, how long should the articles be? Okay, let's say you're preparing for the IELTS for two months. Okay, let's pretend that you are a student who is preparing for the IELTS for two months. Okay, so for the first three weeks, one to three weeks, okay, you can read short articles, articles as short as 100 to 150 words. There you go. And then on your fourth week, okay, when you are already on your fourth week of preparing for your IELTS, I want you to read, okay? You would need to read 500 to 700 words, okay, per passage, okay? And then... Okay, on your fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth week. Okay, this is your five to eight weeks. Okay, five to eight weeks of preparation on the IELTS. You would need to rate, you would need to read. <laughs> okay, you would need to read 800 to 1,200 words every single day. No, every single day. So, sir, why? Why do I need to do that? What this does, guys, is it actually works on your reading rate. It improves your recognition. It improves the way that you look at the passages. Okay, because some of the students they tend to, uh, what it calls, they tend to not mind reading it quickly on the exam. Hala, nag enjoy na, binasa na. Pati yung papel ng katabi binasa rin, di ba? <laughs> yung wala ka na mabasa. Ay, tapos na ako. Yung kapate. Mayroon naman ako ng papil mo. <laughs> diba? Guys, you would need to improve every single day on the IELTS. Believe me. Hello to our 143 viewers on Facebook and 80 viewers at Zoom. What? what? Shout out. Shout out to you guys. Thank you for watching this crazy person in front of you. Standing in front of you is the 22-year-old stunner hailing all the way from the tricycle capital of the Philippines and home of the local sausage called Batotay, Kabalatuan City, Philippines! Nainiwala po ako sa kasabihan na pag wala kang masabi, hindi yun kasabihan. Maraming salamat po! <laughs> okay. Taas ng energy. Ano ba yan? Oh, you're from Campino, Jazz. Wow, we're close to... Oy, daanan mo ako ha. Magkita tayo. Okay. <laughs> Alam mo, I, I, I feel... <laughs> 20, 20, joke lang yon 22. Hindi ako 22, anak, Marian. I'm not 22. 2009, nag-IELTS. Ilang taon ako nun, di ba? 12? <laughs> Gusto mo yon 12 years old, nag-IELTS. Nagkukunak ko ng drum yung bata. Now, to be honest, guys, nahulog ako sa upuan sa kakatawa. <laughs> Huwag niyo, basta wala pa akong 100. Huwag niyo lang tanongin ko ilang taon ako. Charing. No, I uh, wanna make a guess how old I am. 
come on, I'll tell you higher or lower. Dali para may fun activity tayo. Hayaan nyo na yung reading ngayon. Magdaldala na lang tayo. Chari. <laughs> Make guesses. Come on, come on. Sa mga nakakaalabog na kayo mag-comment, ha? Okay, from JLT, I'm 33. 28 from Joy. 36 from Jane Yumo. 25 from Eleanor. 34 from Gretzel May. Okay. Ano pa? Malapit na, malapit na. Okay, there we go. I am... 34, 35, 32. Okay, most of the people got my age correctly. I am wala pang 100. Sorry. <laughs> I'm 32. Okay, I am 32 years old, guys. Okay, I am 32. Turning 33, and then 34, and then after that, 35, and then 36. Sorry. Okay, so... This is five to eight weeks. During your five to eight week preparation, guys, okay, you would need to read 800 to 1,000 words of the passages, okay, for you to train yourself to spot, okay, to spot chunks of the question, okay? So be a bookworm. Now, one of the common problems of the people, grabe naman kayo, grabe naman kayo sa 45, <laughs> Grabe na. 16 plus, plus, plus. Last year, you're 31, Mama. Oh, last year, yes. I'm 31. But I'm not sure. I'm 32. Last year, I'm 31. Is that correct? <laughs> okay. Let's talk about time management. Okay. One of the most important concepts that you would need to remember on the examination, okay, is time management. Okay. One thing that I always tell my students, okay, on the exam is if you cannot manage your time, then don't expect that you will be able to finish the reading examination. Again, if you cannot manage your ma manage manage it, okay, hold on. What is spelling call? Okay, if you cannot manage your time on the reading examination, don't expect to get your target scores. Okay, time management is one of the most important things or imperative things that you should be doing on the reading examination, sir. How do I manage my time on the reading? Okay, as I always tell my students, you're going to be spending only 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, 10 to 15 minutes per passage. All right. So that entails, on the 10 to 15 minutes time, that entails reading and answering the passages. Again, reading and answering the passages so what do we mean by this one okay so for 10 to 15 minutes guys for each passage you're only going to be spending that one okay let's pretend that you have spent 15 minutes per passage okay and then you have three passages okay so that is a total of 45 minutes oh sir joseph i still have 15 minutes left for me to splurge. What do you want me to do on the 15 minutes time that I'm not doing anything? Makipagchikahan ka sa katabi mo or irapan mo para masaya, aring. What you should be doing on your remaining 15 minutes is you're going to be spending five minutes okay, to transfer your answers Okay, and then the remaining 10 minutes, this is the most important part, guys. Believe me, the remaining 10 minutes is for you to go over your answers. Okay, now, what is the common mis most common mistake of the students when it comes to the reading? Ito, maraming estudyante ang ganito. They tend to spend like five minutes, eight minutes, seven minutes per question. Like on one question, when they cannot find the answer of that question, they're going to be spending five minutes on that, okay? Which brings me to my next important tip or secret for passing your reading exam, okay? If you cannot find your answer, <clears throat> okay, if you cannot find the answer to If you cannot find the answer to a question, okay, move on, okay? Move on. Leave it be. Sir, 
some students, their common mistake here is they tend to hold on to that one question, even if that question is already hurting them. They don't let go of that question, even if it hurts so much. Even if that que- parang mali yata yung sinabi ko. Parang hugot yata yung sinabi <laughs> Diba? Don't hold on to things that you find difficult. The secret to life is if he doesn't love you anymore, then don't love him back. <laughs> Ibang moving on ba yun, Kat? Okay. Okay lang yan, mga anak. Mama is here for you, okay? If that person does not value your worth, then don't value that person too. Ganun lang yan. I have survived love life for 32 years with that ideation in my mind. Okay? Sabi ko sa inyo, sa elite intellect, tsaka sa ayot, medyo hindi lang tukol sa ayot, matutuloy niya, tukol sa buhay din. Diba? Don't hold on to that. Okay? Did you remember the glass logic? Right? Did you remember the glass logic? Like, if I'm going to be holding this glass for five minutes, it wouldn't hurt me. But then again, if I hold it for 24 hours, my hands would be hurting and um, my, my torso, my, my hands would be hurting and it would be painful and burning. That's the same as the things that we, that, which are weighing you down. If you hold on to them for longer periods, then it's going to be hurting in the long run. Oh, di ba? Ako, ako yan, di ba? move on eh, sa reading lang. Ah, okay, Maripi. Okay. All right. Guys, okay, move on and leave it be. What I always tell my students is do not sacrifice five other items. Okay, do not sacrifice five other items just because of one. Guys, one of the most common tricks that the, that the IELTS does to students is that they are going to be putting like two to three questions which are difficult to answer. Good evening, Mama God and it's squad. And like, Hello, Mom Gladish. I miss you. I should care. <laughs> Ganun mag-usap, ano? Hello, Mom Gladys. I miss you. I should care. Okay. Guys, did you know that the most common Thing that the IELTS does to confuse the students is they're going to be putting like two questions or three questions per, per passage, which is difficult to find. Yes. And then some of the students, they will be like, oh my gosh, I will be spending longer time here. And then you'll be sacrificing the five other items just because of that one item. Okay, but the good news about this one, guys, is if you move on with that item, the answer will usually reveal itself later on as you read through the passages. Okay, pag binasa mo yung passage, makikita mo. You are going to be seeing the answer there. So don't, okay? Don't sacrifice five other items if you cannot find one item. Okay, that's basically it. That is the most important thing to do on the IELTS reading is that once you cannot find an, an item, don't spend, your, don't spend your dollar or your nickel onto it. Leave it be because later on as you progress further, it, you will be seeing the answers. Okay? Sabi ni Mom Gladys, ah, may lepit na yung bimigayan kita yung lepit ke. Sum, ano, sumilip lang po. Ay, magpahinga ka, madam. Kasi ano eh, madami yata kayong kemi kanina. Di ba? Nakita ko yung my day mo. We may share. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah. If you cannot find an item on the reading, don't, 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 don't focus on it. Okay? The read, the answer will usually reveal itself later on. Okay. Another thing that's making the students fail on the reading is this one. Okay. Not following instructions. Okay. Hello, girly, my love. Okay. <laughs> I know it's actually quite self-explanatory. Okay. But a, a lot of good points have been lost, okay? Because the students cannot follow instructions on the reading exam. Okay, guys, on the IELTS, you need to follow exactly what your interlocutors would do or would say. Okay? All right. Alam nyo ba, no, meron akong mga estudyante dati, noon-noon pa, 
bumagsak sila sa IELTS hindi dahil mahirap yung IELTS. Bumagsak sila sa IELTS dahil hindi nila naisulat yung candidate number nila doon sa answer sheet. Yeah. Your interlocutors will tell you, write your full name here and then your last name, the date of your test, the testing center, your candidate number. And then the student was not able to write down their candidate number on all their written papers. Sa listening, wala. Sa reading, wala. Sa writing, wala din. So ano mangyayari? Anong gagawin natin? Wala kang candidate number. So the first instruction to follow on the reading is to know and write your candidate number. Okay, again, know and write your candidate number. Candidate. candidate. Okay. Your candidate number, you should know where to write it, how to write it, what's your candidate number on the examination. Okay, sa computer delivered, meron din kayo pagtatypan doon na space. All right, what else? Another is to follow the word limit. Okay, some students, when we're talking about the reading, they don't know how to follow word limits. If it says... Write no more than two words, then y'all better be writing down two words only. Like, for example, at the university. So you just write down the university. Sir, common question on the word limit. Can I take out the word da? Yeah. Okay, you can just write down university. Okay. Sir, what about Elmsford Street? Can I take out the word street? Just write down Elmsford. Yeah, because the word Elmsford is the most specific thing on that answer. So follow the word limit. Kapag kasi nabi write no more than two words, you better be writing down no more than two words. Okay, what else? Ito. Look carefully if the instruction asks you to write down true, false, or not given. Or it's asking you to write down T, F, and G. Okay? I have seen a lot of students before who have lost 10 points on the examination because the exam is asking them to write T, F, and G. And what they have written is true, false, not given. Kahit tama ang sagot mo, anak, no? Kahit tama ang sagot mo sa exam, even if, the sun refused to shine. Charing. Even if you were... Well, eh, direct pa edit out yun. Medyo nakakahiya. Charing. Okay. Even if you have written down true and your answer is actually uh, is accurate and correct, no? But the expectation of the exam is for you to write the word T only, then of course, that would be considered as incorrect. There's no bargaining on the IELTS exam. Believe me. Okay? What else? If the exam is asking for you to write down yes, no, and not given. Okay, yes, no, and not given, or Y, N, N, G. Okay, some students, they tend to write down the whole words, whereas the expectation of the exam is for you just to write Y, N, or N, G. What else? Matching headings, okay? Guys, if you are on the matching headings, usually this is nu Roman numerals, no? Roman numerals ito. So you better be writing down Roman numerals, okay? An example of this one, let's say that's heading number three, verses one, two, three. Okay? Guys, ha? Kapag kayong Roman numeral number four, halimbawa, no? Okay, this one is incorrect. This one is correct. Halimbawa, ang sagot mo ay Roman numeral number 4. Tapos ang isinulat mo ay 4. This one will automatically be incorrect on the examination. So be careful with that. Simple instructions on the examination could cost you good points. Believe me. Okay? It could extirpate your chances. It could, it could destroy your chances of getting a good score on the reading. I have a student ask me before, Sir, pwede ko po bang ipari-check yung reading ko if I do not get my target score when it comes to the reading? 
Okay. Does it matter po if the Roman numerals are capitalized or not? No, not much, not much difference, my love. You can actually write them down like this one. One, two, three. Okay, totally fine if you write it that way. Okay, sir, can I have my reading test rechecked? Okay, if, okay, if I was not able to get my target score. Yes, you may. Yes, you may have it rechecked, albeit the problem is there is an answer key for the reading. So most likely, you're just wasting your time if you will have it rechecked. No? Ang mga madaling ipa-recheck sa IELTS, guys, the, the speaking and the writing. No? Because that is your response, yourself. Although for the reading, it is quite difficult to have it rechecked because there is an answer key that they follow upon checking your answer. So anong gagawin natin kung hindi mo talaga naisulat ng tama yung sagot? Di ba? Siya yung mag adjust Okay? So you must remember, <clears throat> some students fail on the examination because it's difficult to have the reading rechecked. Okay, so follow instructions carefully. Okay, Sir Joseph, what else? What else is another thing that you would want me to remember for the reading examination of the IELTS? Oh, this one. Okay, on the reading, guys, you are going to be encircling interesting keywords only. Okay, later on, we will talk about map mapping. Mind mapping. Okay, sir, what do you mean by interesting keywords only? Okay, what do you mean by this one? Okay, I'll, okay. you have to encircle interesting keywords only on the examination. Okay, sir, what do you mean? Basically, guys, do not, I repeat, do not encircle repetitive or common keywords. Or, okay, common keywords. Okay, what do we mean by this one, Sir Joseph? Could you give me an example? Okay, look at this phrase that I'm going to be writing down, okay? Okay, guys. All right. Which do you think? Which do you think is the keyword here? <clears throat> okay. Dr. Kahari's research proved blank of the ancient eccentric stones. Alin sa tingin nyo dyan ang dapat na keyword na bibilugan natin? Okay. I am seeing only one subject that I would need to encircle. Okay. Which one do you think should I encircle here? Come on. I'll give you one minute to decide okay and when i return after one minute tell me which one among these okay should be our keyword for the question okay hold on let me just uh, get my charger real quick Okay, I'm back. Okay, guys. Which one do you think should be our keyword here? Should it be Dr. Kahari? Okay, should it be the word research? Should it be the word proved? Should it be the word ancient stones? Should it be the word eccentric? Which one is? Okay, if you have answered Dr. Kahari, then you are not correct, okay? Dr. Kahari should not be your keyword here. Why? Because most likely on the examination, if that is just about Dr. Kahari, you will see his name pop out of the entire passage multifarious times. So ano to? Kada makita mo yung pangalan ni Dr. Kahari, 
Magganon ka? No? Nope, nope, nope. That is not the answer. Okay? All right. If you have answered research, yes! Good job! You just lost another point. Okay? The word research is not our keyword here. Okay? It is not our keyword here. Because the research is the entire passage itself or it could have been about the entire Uh, the passage could have been about the entire research itself. So, what is our keyword here? Okay? If you have answered ancient, okay, you're close. Because this research might be talking about something that is ancient. Okay? So, ang keyword dito, guys, ay ang salitang off. Saring. <laughs> The keyword here, guys, is the word off. Arot lang. The keyword here is the word eccentric. Look at that. This word right here is unique. Okay? Most likely, when you look at the passage, okay, the word eccentric is hidden there. All right. So if you're encircling Kahari research, ancient stones, hello, the entire passage is about Dr. Kahari. It's about his research. It's about ancient stones. So the word eccentric, guys, this is the unique keyword that you would need to find. And expect that once you look at your passages, you're going to be looking at the synonyms of this one. Okay. Give me a synonym for the word eccentric. What are The synonyms of the word eccentric. Okay, synonyms of the word eccentric. You have unique, uncommon. Okay, ano pa? Bizarre. Ah, hindi. Hindi bizarre. Okay, what else? What else is the keyword of the word eccentric? Peculiar. Diba? Peculiar. Okay, so on the examination, guys, okay, peculiar, okay, unusual. On the exam, guys, okay, strange. Sige, pwede na rin yon. On the exam, kapag ka itong salitang eccentric, ang ginawa yung keyword, and then let's say you're reading through pretend. You, you made this a keyword, eccentric. And then you read through and then you saw the word peculiar. Ha, huh, wait lang. I think the word peculiar is the same with the word eccentric. Ah, voila, I got my answer. <laughs> There it is, girl. See? I would want you to encircle unique keywords or interesting keywords on the exam, unconventional, odd. There you go. I want you to encircle unique keywords on the exam so as to ensure that you guys would be getting the keyword properly. No? Sir, paka-explain ulit. Kapag ka kasi guys, si Dr. Kahari ang ni-research mo, malamang lilitaw yan 100 times sa passage. Research, the passage might have been about his research, so of course, it will appear like 100 times on the exam. Ancient stones, it might appear like 50 times on the entire passages. But if you have encircled the word eccentric, the chances are it will appear once or twice only on the entire reading or on the entire passage. So there you go. That's how we identify the keywords. Who here is guilty? Some students can say when they do encircling and underlining on the exam, they tend to do this. Who here is guilty? It's okay if you are. Uh, there's no problem. But at least now you're learning. Some students, when they are encircling, sige, bilog, bilog, underline. Diba? Dr. Kahari, research proved ancient eccentric stones. You tend to encircle and underline everything. Will you remember that? <laughs> Will you remember the entire thing? Some students, unfortunately, when they are doing their reading, they tend to do this, okay? Dr. Kahari, research proved, underline. Sige, encircle, underline. Kung lang mag-drawing ka pa ng heart at saka smiley. Diba? Okay. Guys, when you are doing that on the examination, believe me, you are not encircling and underlining your keywords in a smart way. Okay? You must be smart when it comes to encircling and underlining 
your keywords on the exam. Might as well, as I always tell you, you should be encircling the keywords only which you think are unique on the examination. Good evening, Clarice. Hello, Clarice, my love. Okay, look at that. Oh my gosh, Sir Joseph, that is why it's difficult for me to find the answers because in the first place, I have been encircling the incorrect ones. Yep. Yep. You have been encircling the incorrect ones. That is why it's quite onerous for you to find the details that you would need on the passage. Again, life-saving tip from Mama D tonight is for you to encircle interesting keywords only. Okay, now, just real quick, guys, before we move on to our mind mapping, let me just make an announcement, okay? Um, I know for those of you who have already been watching the live of Elite Intellect here at IFNG, okay, I know that you are, you are already aware of this program of Elite Intellect. I think it was offered six months ago. And the good news is, and I'm excited to announce that most of the students on that program already have already were able to pass their examination. So we are now reopening that program at Elite Intellect 9. So wish there is a better way to review or how about flexibility with your IELTS review schedules, okay? Ever hope that your coaches will guide you all throughout your preparation. Sir Joseph, what do you mean by this one? The coaches are going to be guiding me all throughout my preparation. Yes, our coaches here are dedicated to look at your weaknesses, okay? And of course, for you guys to, be, to correct your weaknesses first before you go to your concepts. We are now opening slots for our most popular review program, which is called Elite Focus, after six months of waiting. Uh, sir, bakit six months bago kayo nag-re-offer ng Elite Focus? Kasi guys, sa Elite Focus, when we open Elite Focus program, we are only accepting 20 students to come into that program. And then once all those 20 students graduate, that's the time that we will be reopening our program here. Okay? So, what is Elite Focus? And also, guys, mind you, we already have our evening batch at Elite Intellect 9, which is a more convenient time for you to review. That is 11 p.m. onwards, Philippine, Philippines time. So that is 7 p.m. for UAE, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, 6 p.m. for UK, uh, US and Canada, 11 a.m., 8 a.m. for some parts of Canada, 3 p.m. for the UK, and 5 p.m. for... Um, 5 p.m. for... Italy. Okay, so guys, what is Elite Focus? Basically, it is a limited IELTS review for life. Okay, even if your IELTS exam expires, you may still go back and then review for free. Okay, what else? We have free materials and free preparation book, free 800 plus writing compilation, unlimited one on one coaching in speaking and writing, unlimited one on one coaching with grammar pronunciation and vocabulary, okay, two live schedules, 1 p.m. Philippines time and 11 p.m. Philippines time, more flexibility with your review, and of course, it also comes with the recorded discussions. So kung hindi ka naka-attend ng 1 p.m. or 11 p.m., you can still re-watch your, uh, you can still re-watch your, uh, what do you call this, your <clears throat> review on our uploaded platform. Free pre and final assessment, unlimited computer delivered mock examinations, flexible for international and domestic students, live classes recorded, live classes, free exam scheduling assistance, and a free personal final coaching with your mama D. Before you take your exam, you're going to be doing one on one with me for the entire two weeks before your exam. Uh, sir, ano ang pinagkaiba ng elite focus as compared to the other programs? Elite Focus, guys, is where our coaches will look at your weaknesses and then we are going to be focusing on that. So if you are weak with speaking and then once we recognize that, your coaching will be dedicated to your speaking for us to correct your errors and your mistakes. Ah, pero sir, pwede kong attendan yung ibang klase din, like listening, reading, writing, and speaking. Yes. But if you're weak with one particular thing, then we are going to be focusing on that. That is why it's called elite focus. And that is why it takes us, it took us months to complete the batch. Yung iba sa kanila, one month lang nag-prepare. Yung iba, two months lang. Pero yung iba, it took them longer. And here at Elite Intellect, we accept students based on batches. Okay? So, sir, I know that a lot of you guys are 
asking how much is the elite focus still it is on the exclusive ifng only okay ifng discount okay which is 2500 discount pay only 4999 per stu uh, per student instead of paying 7500 pesos for the unlimited review although kung gusto niyo nang mas makatipid kayo, you can invite your friends to enroll with you because if you're going to be enrolling three and above, no, you're only going to be paying 3,999 per student instead of 7,500. That is for the elite focus program. Now, listen carefully to the instructions. For those of you who are interested of our elite focus program, you may message us on our Facebook page. Just go to your Facebook page and search Elite Intellect 9.0, all small letters, no spaces, or contact our mobile number or WhatsApp number right there. That's 0916-972-994. Also, Sir Jello and Mom Genji has pasted the link of Elite Intellect 9 right there on our chat box and on our comment section on the live video. And use the word, uh, use, the, you use the promo code IFNG Focus. IFNG Focus, okay? You may send a message to Mom Tanya right now and uh, for, for her to know that you would want to avail Elite Focus. Guys, unfortunately, as much as we would like to open Elite Focus to all, no, gusto namin, it's exclusive for 20 students only, okay? And then after the 20 students graduate, that's the time that we will be reopening Elite Focus. Ito ang program which changes the lives of the students because if they have weaknesses, it's being transform. So I'll see you in class. You may send a message to our Facebook page right now and type IFNG focus. Or you can tell Mom Tanya that you're going to be inquiring about Elite Focus. Okay, so the link of Elite Intellect is already right there on the chat box uh, of Zoom and the comment section of our live video here. Okay, so see you guys in class very, very soon. Okay, so guys, let me just drink water. Give me five minutes before we proceed with mind mapping. So Ma Ate Genji, is Ate Genji here? Okay, Ate Genji, would you please unmute yes, yourself? Mother. Thank you so much. Hi. Do you have any questions for the students when it comes to their reading? Oh, hi, everyone. So uh, while uh, Mother D is taking her uh, his break, uh, well, uh, I am a bibliophile. And uh, when I took the my first examination last 2007, I thought that I'm going to make it good in reading. However, to my disappointment, uh, it was the very least score that I got at that time. And so when I took it again this 2021, I, I, I enrolled in Elite and um, I got all the learnings that I can from Mother D regarding the reading. And all the tips that uh, he shared with you tonight, I did that. And there is a few things that made an impression with me. And that thing is that Mother told us to make a heading or a main topic on each paragraph, even though uh, the question is not asking for a matching headings. It was a habit for me whenever I would uh, be doing a reading examination that I would be doing the main topic. Okay, I'll get the main topic and then try to uh, and then wrote it on the, uh, the side of the of my paper or anything that I can write on as long as it's near the paragraph and then I would be uh, jotting down the topic. What, what are they talking about here on this paragraph? And that is not even if the question is asking for a matching heading. It became a habit for me. And that was the reason that it helped me not only with the matching headings, but whenever there would be fill in the blanks, and, uh, and there are certain words there that talks about this certain topic, I know where to go and what paragraph to go to because I know that I made that main topic there. So that was the, uh, the thing that really impressed me uh, on my mind. And then I kept on doing that one because it made my score uh, quite higher than the previous one that I got. Okay, so mother, I'll give you back the floor. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you so much, Ate Genji, one of our <coughs> tenured coaches here at Elite Intellect Time. Siya nga yung sinasabi nilang kakampi ng mga estudyante pag sa coaching. 
<laughs> because the students are not afraid every time that Ate Jeje will be their coach. Pero pag ako ang coach nila, naku, ewan ko na tatakot sila sa akin. Bakit? Okay, so let's continue. Let us now teach you guys. All right, so again, guys, if you want to inquire, that's the Facebook page of Elite Intellect Line. Also, the link is already on our uh, chat box and comment section right there. This is for IFNG exclusive discount, okay? So just type IFNG. Elite Focus, if you want to belong to the group of the Elite Focus cluster. Okay, let's talk about mind mapping, okay? I will make an illustration here on how to map your exam, okay? All right, instead of step-by-step, step, let's make an illustration on how to map your exam. Sir, first of all, before we talk about mind mapping, what is the purpose of mind mapping? Okay, Basically, guys, mind mapping is important on your reading because you are setting a condition, okay? You are setting your brain onto the condition that you are about to read and find details on the examination, hence explaining why it is important for you to do these steps when you are reading. Okay, now, for those of you who reads the question first, who here reads the question first? Say, I do, okay? Who here reads the questions first? Okay, say, I do. Come on, guys. Sino dito ang panagre-reading sila? Binabasa muna nila yung tanong bago yung passages. Okay, for Danica, for, okay, Jazz, all right, there we go. Okay, we have a lot of students who read the questions first. Okay, now, unfortunately, my children. Okay, hold on. Let me just, I think I have changed share. Okay, hold on. Let me just stop share and then reshare. Unfortunately, my children, you should not be reading the questions first, okay? When you are mind mapping, you will be confused if you're going to be reading the questions first. Basically, kasi pag binasa mo yung tanong, saan mo hahanapin yun? The only thing that you would find with reading the question is uh, you're just going to be finding the keywords. So, sir... What do you want me to do first when it comes to mind mapping on the reading? Okay, here we go. All right. The first thing that I tell my students to do on the examination is for you not to read the questions first, okay? But rather, the step one is to familiarize yourself with the theme of each paragraph. Again, let me write it down, okay? The first thing that you would need to do is to familiarize with the theme of each paragraph. Okay. Uh, how do I do that, Sir Joseph? How do I familiarize myself with the theme of each paragraph? And what's the purpose of familiarizing myself with the theme of the paragraphs? Here we go. Number one, guys, is that you would need to read the first and last sentence per paragraph. Uh, why do I need to do that, Sir Joseph? Basically, the purpose of this one is to familiarize yourself with the theme. Alam mo kung ano ang contents ng paragraph na yon. So that once you read the question and you saw a question that is related to the content that you have read earlier while you are mapping, you can directly go there instead of trying to find everything. Guys, believe me, the IELTS is no longer patternistic, no? Yung iba kasi, that's why they, they are telling the people to read. Uh, that's why before in our time, they told us to read the questions first because the IELTS reading is patternistic. When you say patternistic, you can find the answer on top and then you just go down, okay? And then you when, once you don't see anything below, you can just go back up. The answer is there, but the IELTS already recognized that. So you, it's no longer patternistic. Nakita niyo yung mga bagong reading ngayon? Nasa taas yung isang sagot, tapos yung isa nasa pinakababa, tapos nasa gitna, tapos nasa baba ulit, tapos nasa taas ulit, no? Guys, you would need to familiarize yourself with the theme of each paragraph first. And then, that is the time that you, after this one, that is the time that you should read your questions. Okay. 
So read the questions. Okay. So again, when we are reading our questions, guys, as I have mentioned earlier, only, only encircle unique keywords, okay? Only encircle unique keywords. So while you're reading your questions, do not encircle too much. Okay, only encircle unique keywords. Okay, there we go. All right, so you would need to read the questions after you're done familiarizing yourself with the theme of the paragraphs. Uh, okay, sir. I, so the first thing that I would need to do on the reading is for me to read the questions, for, uh, for me to read the passages first, familiarize myself with the theme. And then after that, I'm going, to, uh, while I'm familiarizing myself with the theme, I should be reading the first sentence and the last sentence of the paragraph. Is that correct? Yes. For you to know the content of the paragraph. And then after that, you're going to read the questions. That was, something will click in your head. Believe me, something will click in your head. Uh, I think I saw this question on the second paragraph. So you have saved an ample amount of time. Diba? After reading the question, parang nakita ko itong tarong na ito sa second paragraph kanina, nagmamapping ako. So let me just go to the second paragraph. And then, oh, here's the keyword that I'm looking for. See? You're reading smart. Okay? You're not floundering around trying to read everything, trying to find everything. That's the common culprit. Why the students read everything is that they are not familiar with the theme of the paragraphs in the first place. So to save time on the reading examination, what I would want you to do is for you to read the questions for uh, the, the, the first and the last sentence of the paragraphs first. And then after that, you can go to the questions and encircle unique keywords. Okay, sir, I am already done reading the questions. What's the next thing? Okay, automatically there is a click. Okay, there is a switch in your head. It will dictate you which, uh, which part were you able to see the, the keyword earlier or the content of the question while you're mapping. So go to the passage. The next thing is go to the passage and find the keyword. Okay, for computer-delivered tests, my love, there is a noting paper with which you can actually write down information. Now, for, for the computer-delivered test, what you could do is you can use the highlighting tool. Okay, it's actually easy to use the highlighting tool for the computer-delivered. Okay, go to the passage. Okay, and then while you're at the passage, while you're on it, you would need to find your keyword. Okay, there we go. This is step three, okay? This is the third step. Once it clicks onto your head, okay? Ah, parang nakita ko nga yun sa passage 2. Teka, pumunta nga ako ng passage 2. And then once you go to the passage 2, oh, here's the keyword. Okay, there it is. Now, Sir Joseph, what if I found a keyword? That's the next step right here. Okay? Okay. What if you found a keyword? What should you do next? Okay, found the keyword. Okay. Okay, from Jell <clears throat> Gaika, where where can I watch this video after this? Oh, you may rewatch it here at the IFNG page. It will be uploaded here after, or you may go to the YouTube channel of IELTS Filipino Nurses Group. It is uploaded there. After, after our live discussions, it's automatically uploaded there. Thank you so much. Okay, so if you found the keyword, what should you do next? Okay, stop. This is what I always tell my students. Kapag ka nakakita kayo ng keyword, hinto, okay? The answer is within the same sentence. There we go, 
Okay, if you found the keyword, stop. The answer is within the same sentence, no? Some students kasi what they do is they're very insensitive when it comes to the keyword. Did you remember the word eccentric earlier? If you already saw the synonym of that word, okay? If you already saw the synonym of the word eccentric, the answer is within the same sentence, guys. Believe me, you don't have to go far away, okay? Because for some of the students, they tend to overanalyze. Oh, I don't know. I think I saw the word, the, the, I, I think I saw the keyword, uh, the, the synonym of the word eccentric. Should I get the answer or should I not? Naku, guys, overanalyzing could kill you on the exam. Believe me, do not overanalyze on the IELTS examination. So, Again, let's recap. Familiarize yourself with the theme of each paragraph by reading the first sentence and the last sentence. And then after that, you're going to read the questions, okay? Do not encircle too much while reading the questions. Only encircle unique keywords like the one that we had, like the example that we had earlier. And then after that, go to the passage and find the keyword. Usually, what you're trying to find here is the synonym. Okay. Uh, Sir Joseph, I found the keyword. I found the synonym. What should I do? Stop. The answer is within the same sentence. Okay. And another important thing. Okay. Another important thing that you should do when you found the answer. Okay. So let's say you were already able to uh, find the keyword and you found the answer. Okay, what if you have already found an answer? What should we be doing? When you found an answer, I want you to write it down immediately. The problem of some of the students, guys, is that, oh, I already found the answer here. It's already here, but I am not going to write it down. I'll go to the next item. And then you found the answer to the next item. Okay, I'll go to the next item again. And then once it's time for you to write down, you can no longer find it. You're lost, right? You have lost the answer, okay? Guys, if you found an answer, there's nothing wrong with writing it down immediately. That is smart, okay? Fine. If you found an answer, write it down immediately. Now, as I have mentioned earlier, if you cannot find an answer, do not waste your time. Okay? Do not waste your time. Leave it be. Okay? Just repeat this step. Okay? Just repeat the steps that I have written down here. Okay? Let's recap again. All right. Step one is I want you to familiarize yourself with the theme of each paragraph. So what should you be doing? Read the first and the last sentence of each paragraph. So guys, if there are 10 paragraphs there, 10 short paragraphs, then you better okay, be reading the first sentence and the last sentence of each of those 10 paragraphs. And then after doing that, when you're already familiar with the theme, like let's say, okay, I'm now familiar. Paragraph one is about the history of the research. Paragraph two is about the author of the research. Paragraph three is about the application of the research. Okay, and then that's the time that you go to the questions. You would need to read the questions. Do not encircle too much. Only encircle unique keywords. Here, kalimbawa, ha, huh, there's a question about the application of the research. I think I saw it earlier on the third paragraph. So that's the time where you go to the passage, okay? Here it is, okay? This is the third paragraph. This is about... Uh, what I call this, this is about the uh, this is about the application of the research. And then you try to find your synonym there. Try to find the keyword and its synonym. And then once you found the synonym or a keyword, stop. The answer is within the same sentence. Don't go far away, okay? So you look deeply onto that sentence and find the answer. And once you found an answer, write it down immediately. Do not save it for later because there is a huge possibility that if you do not write it down, no, you will be lost. Hindi mo na mahahanap yan later on. Okay? So that is mind mapping, guys, on the examination. Okay? For those of you who enjoyed our discussion tonight, for this entire month, we will be dedicating all the lives of elite intellect to teach you about the reading. 
Okay? On our next discussion, I will be teaching you, yung sinabi natin Genji kanina, yung tinuturo ko sa mga estudyante ko, you write down the theme of the paragraphs on the passages, no? Because it will be easier for you. Okay? There we go, guys. No? So mind mapping, guys, is something that is What if I cannot attend the live sessions? Okay, so match for your question right there. If you cannot attend the live sessions of Elite Focus, okay, there is a recorded platform. All of our discussions on that day is automatically uploaded to the platform so that you may rewatch it anytime that you are available. Okay, it's flexible for all. Okay, now. Most important message for tonight, okay? Before we end our discussion. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth. This is Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 to 10. Sir Joseph, what does that mean? Basically, there is power in the name of Jesus, When you love your situation, you say in Jesus' name. When you hate your situation, you rebuke it using, using the name of the Lord. Okay? Learn that the name of the Lord has an authority on all the negativity in your life. That is one thing to remember when you are praying. Okay? So guys, let's just pray for you guys quickly tonight. Okay? Okay? Before we end this one, Heavenly Father, we'd like to thank you, Lord God, for another opportunity to glorify your name and to help the students who are preparing for their IELTS examination here at IFNG. Father, I pray for the admins of IFNG. Keep them happy, blessed, healthy, and of course, um, give them the enough, uh, the enough amount of wisdom and strength for them to be able to help the students more because you know, Lord, that we love what we do to help the students on their preparation. And Lord, I pray for the students who have attended this, Lord God, that one day they will see your greatness on their IELTS preparation and they will see that you have led them To, to discover this discussion be, because it has a purpose. And Lord, I pray for the new students of Elite Intellect 9 that will be coming to our institution. Lord, thank you so much for giving them a clear path. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, guys. All right. So guys, I will be live again next Friday, okay? Next Friday at 9 p.m. Philippines time, okay? I will be teaching you guys again about reading. We will be talking about mapping more for next week. Now, again, guys, if you would want to inquire, okay, for the program of Elite Intellect Night, which is Elite Focus, you may send a message here on our Facebook page. That is Elite Intellect 9.0. Just search it on Facebook, no spaces. Or you can also message us on our WhatsApp platform. Sir, hindi ko naabutan kung magkano Elite Focus. Elite Focus, guys, is at 2,500 discount only for members and watchers and viewers of IFNG. So use the promo code IFNG Focus. Okay? Pay only 4,999 instead of 7,500. Okay, or if you're going to be enrolling as a group of three and above, get the review for only 3,999 per student. We have two live schedules, 1 p.m. and 11 p.m. PHT, as well as, of course, we also have the recorded platform with which all the discussions of Elite Intellect are uploaded there. All right. So guys, if you are going to be inquiring, again, message our Facebook page and you may inquire with Mom Tanya. We love you. Love you guys. Love you guys so much. So next week, guys, ha? reading pa rin tayo, mapping. I will be focusing my energy and attention to mapping para matutunan nating maigi ang mind mapping when it comes to the reading. So for those of you, here is our QR code. You can scan it and inquire now at our program. We are only accepting 20 students for Elite Focus. That is our most coveted program here at Elite Intellect 9. Thank you so much. Okay, so before I return this one to Mr. Manuel, My anak, okay? In behalf of Sir Jello, Mom Zaya, Mom Genji, Mom Tanya, Mom Charm, and Mom Jerlene, this is your Mama Dragon sending my love to you from the Philippines. I'll see you guys next Friday at 9 p.m. PhD for our next reading discussion here at IELTS Filipino Nurses Group brought to you by Elite Intellect Night. I love you all and God bless you all. Sir Manuel, back to you!
Hello! <laughs> Napaka-energetic talaga, Mama D. I love it! I love it. It was a very informative lecture. It was, I don't know, you are pretty. Ay, hindi, pala yung, huh? hindi pala yung prettiness mo yung, ano, yung lecture pala pinag-uusapan natin. Um, it was amazing. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you also from the bottom of my cold heart <laughs> about the IFNG discount. Wow, I can't believe that yes. the, our members are privileged. Mm. Yes, diba? that is a benefit for IFNG only. Okay? So guys, right. don't forget to don't forget uh, don't, don't don't forget to remember to use the code IFNG focus, which means that you have watched this live video and that promo is exclusive for you guys. Okay? Right. Back to you, Sir Manuel. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, th- on behalf of the IFNG admins, me, Sir M, Sir Jeff, and Mom Gladys. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you. I hope to see you again next week. Bye, yeah. bye, bye, everybody. Be kind to one another, bye, because reading is important. Then, or reading is fundamental. Charing, bye, 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 guys. <laughs>